Hi everyone! Look what I have here! Well, it's a model that I designed for the buoy scattering and, well, if it's not quite obvious, it is designed after the LM002 which was Lamborghini's try at uh, creating a replacement model or let's say SUV for the Jeep so basically they were looking uh, for a kind of a SUV or such a off-road or whatever to replace the old Jeep and Hummer actually won that thing, eventually came out of that whole thing. But this was the Lamborghini Strike, and they actually ended up making a few uh, civilian models too. And I decided to build one for the gathering because the rules uh, required a 1 to 10 scale off roller slash SUV uh, replicated after the real one. As usual with my models of such scale, I started working in the LEGO Digital Designer where I managed to import a 3D one, as you can see here and uh, I used it as a reference and I'm really happy with how accurate it turned out it has over 2850 pieces and I'm just gonna go about, about a few details before uh, and then we can talk about uh, basically I can show you how well it performs so, details 1 to 10 scale so First, we have opening doors, hood, and the bed. And under the hood, you will find a rather oversized retail engine. And the retail engine, it is powered by the motors, of course. But basically, the, the fake engine is driven directly by the motor. So if I put the gearbox in the neutral, the motors, uh, the fake engine will spin because it is connected directly to the drive motors. So, fake engine, gearbox. So let's first put it in low gear. It has a lot of torque in the low gear, but it's not very fast. But I can put it in high gear and now it's much faster. So, two gears, gearbox, big engine, what else? Suspension, independent suspension on all wheels. I have around two centimeters of travel and I'm using basically front wheel steering. Uh, the rear wheels are fixed and I'm using two hard shock absorbers for each rear wheel and one hard and one soft one in the front because the front is softer, is lighter. Why is it lighter? Because I managed to squeeze all the electronics except the steering and uh, motor here in the back. Uh, of course I will show you a better view in LEGO Digital Designer but basically the boobies, the two drive motors and the gearbox motor are all hidden here in the back where the rear one, uh, the rear one has a really big fuel tank. So I am really happy that I managed to squeeze the, most of the electronics here in the back because it allowed me to free up space both inside the cabin and outside. So, gearbox, suspension, uh, steering, yes, steering. The steering wheel is also connected to the steering system. But in this case, I used a bit of a different uh, design. Instead of connecting the steering wheel via gears to the steering system, I'm actually using a linkage that is connected to the steering rack and is then geared up and goes to the steering wheel and the steering wheel can also be adjusted, the angle can be adjusted thanks to universal joint there. So, fake engine, steering, suspension, gearbox, detailed interior, uh, what else? What else? Well, there's more things. We also have a detailed exterior and part of that is also here because I managed to place everything so nicely and neatly inside the rear here I opened up the space in the rear and here we have two benches uh, we have openable uh, doors and of course spare tire which kind of tends to fall off sometimes because of a wheel's low clutch power anyway and under here we have a license plate there's also a license plate in the front you might have noticed it's missing in the photos because it fell off I didn't notice, it doesn't matter so, 2850 parts, lots of functions, lots of details, looks great in theory. Now, how well does it run in practice? Well, 
I'm gonna show you now the footage from the testing, from the video recording and from the competition. Not only does it look good, it also performs really well. I managed to basically finish the obstacle course in less than two minutes, even though I am only using two drive motors for a model that weighs around or almost three kilograms. It is very efficient because of a very simple drive line. The only thing you have to be careful of is when you're driving in high gear, that make sure that the drive line is properly lubricated so there is no uh, so there is no, let's say, burning, melting of the axles. That is very important to have the gears properly braced so that the load is spread evenly and that the parts don't melt or break. Uh, as for this model, I'm really proud of it. I really like it. I'm gonna keep it. assembled. It is one of my, uh, let's say, current babies. And I'm, I'm just like so happy how it turned out, the proportions, the performance, the reliability, the compactness, the integration of all the functionality, the motors in the back, uh, the massive engine in the front. It's just, yeah, I think I did really well. And if you also think I did really well, then please remember to like, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon with more models. Have a nice week, or a day, or whenever. Have a good one. Bye bye.